Hi, y'all. It's AGP here, and I'm late. I'm late with that. You know, there's obviously been a lot going on. My last few videos were on Wednesday. I was supposed to have one on Friday, but I won't. I won't talk your ears off about how it just. I just. Yeah, I was couldn't really get much done in the last couple of days, but. I'm here now for the inside the details. Obviously, I did the inside the story and the inside the gameplay. And I did a reaction to the state of play that we got last week. So, if y'all want to uh, watch those, I will leave the links to those in the description. But as for right now, let's get into this inside the details. So one of the things that makes Naughty Dog special is uh -huh. our insane attention to detail. Yeah, yeah, they're actually quite good at that, not even going to lie. And that comes from just extreme amount of research. Yeah, perfectionist. So ass. whether it's researching a theme, let's say this, this idea of retribution or justice, like we would read a ton of books and look at movies and even watch like interviews and news programs about stuff that's going on in the world and then discuss it among ourselves like what's happening here what can we draw from this how can we base these fictional characters on reality to make them feel more authentic it's like one of those meetings where everybody's like i don't want to be here right now but we got to get this done that's what i look like me our hope with this game is to create the most authentic characters that you've seen in a game not just ellie not just joel but that every character you see is dimensional Okay, Obviously, okay. in telling a character-driven story, you have to create characters. True. And it starts with a story concept that then can develop into level ideas and more specific narrative beats. Once we kind of have a good understanding of the narrative that we're after, we could start writing scripts. It's so crazy looking at the game in development. And that's really it's like, oh, the shoot. first time the characters so come to like life before, and they're and like speaking, this. even though it's just words on the page. Now they're becoming more specific. And the next step after that is to either bring in the existing cast from the first game, such as Ashley Johnson, who played Ellie, and Troy Baker, who played Joel, or casting new characters. And they're interpreting the material and bringing their knowledge of these characters and their take on these characters to life. I think oh, authenticity so from door. every department has been kind of a, a goal or a focus whether or not that's in the animations and how we're mocapping or in the effects and how we're simulating, you know, the different elements to get the effect look that we want in game. Okay, we wanted okay. it to be as realistic as possible, as believable as possible, so that as you're playing, you can hopefully get fully invested in it and fully immersed. And we didn't want to have a character moment where it's unbelievable, both from a narrative and visual standpoint. Yeah, that seems Some crazy. other advances that we've had is like now we can like make veins pop on their forehead if like they're really angry, or likewise, there's we can redden their skin. Could be based on emotion, or could be based on what's happening to them physically. How red their eyes can get is controllable. How tears flow off their eyes and their face is all new. Um, tech that we've developed for this game. Yeah, see, they had stuff okay. like that obviously in the first one, but it's more. Did you see her? Additionally, we have advanced this human nuance to our human enemies uh, that makes the situations that you're in so much more terrifying and emotionally affecting than they would be otherwise. Because at almost every turn, we've gone as far as we possibly can go to make our human enemies feel as human as possible. I got something. Oh, shit. Let's get in there. You can hear the enemies calling out, looking for you, and giving you slight little uh, gameplay hints as to what they're going to do, and so you can try to plan around it. What is it? Yeah, these new mechanics are something. clean, too. I'll go see what's up. Let me navigate So this. whether that's the nuance of their Very awareness nice. system, of like what they should know about and when, how they convey knowledge to their friends, to the kind of emotional content of the game. So when they refer to each other by name, when they scream in anguish, when they see their friend die. Which again, I'm just like, I tried to kill me, man. scream in anger as they're like kind of trying to hunt you down or, or attack you. Yeah. Oh. They feel real, and it makes the situation that you're in feel real in a way that you haven't seen before and, and you might not be ready for. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, 
there was a ton of research that was done into foliage and different kind of foliage that exists in different parts of the country to make those areas feel authentic. Studying local architecture of wherever we are and making sure that feels authentic. We took three trips up to Seattle. We actually got photo scanned out of like natural elements in the forests and went through and walked the path of Ellie through Seattle to actually get as That's much reference wild. that we could. Where are you going and get that pictures? was anything from going, you know, inside buildings and taking pictures of signs of. on the wall to various bus stops what and the place really looks around like the, now the world like we're trying a, to a world find those all that's kind of abandoned. iconic details and bring them into the environment that once we get it into the final game it's like it all comes together to hopefully make something as believable as we can hopefully with all these things combined it it gives you the feeling that you're playing a naughty dog game this is what we go for i feel like these are all real people i feel like this is a real place i feel like this was a real situation that I was in and then I handled it in a way that makes sense if this was real life. Well, yeah, it's, a, it's finally June. So we will be getting this within the next couple of weeks, um, a little over two weeks. I believe it's like 18 or 17 days, 18 days. So that's what's up. But I'm glad y'all, you know, tuned in here with me. I apologize for just being late. Obviously, there's been a whole lot going on, and it's affected me as well as it probably has everyone else. Um, but, you know, all that is cool. Uh, I'm glad y'all watched this with me, and, you know, I'm going to have some other videos out this week. So I'm going to catch y'all next time, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. AGP out. Peace.